Hi guys, welcome to uh, today's lesson in multiplying and dividing algebraic terms. Hopefully you've already looked at the video for adding and subtracting. If not, please do so before you uh, watch this one. Um, okay, so a couple of things that you need to be aware of before we go into our multiplying and dividing algebraic terms. A couple of our basics for algebra, which is I think is very important. First of all, to know that 3 times A is the same as doing 3A. A times Q is the same as saying AQ. A times A is the same as saying A squared. Remember, A plus A is 2A, whereas A times A is a squared because we're multiplying it by itself. Be very careful, that's probably the two most common mistakes being created at this level of mathematics. And okay, it's very important to know the difference between those two. a plus a is 2a, where a times a is a squared. Basically, getting through those three rules, it can help you with most things um, with, with algebra, with multiplying. Now, we, if we look at dividing, we look at things like, um, I guess, 3 divided by 6 is the same as saying 3 over 6, or a half. Um, 2, 3 divided by A is the same as saying 3 over A. And let's say A over A is the same as saying 1. Because if you divide anything by itself, like 5 divided by 5 equals 1, 3 divided by 3 equals 1, so a over a equals 1. Okay, so that's some of the main concepts. So we're going to look at the easier ones today. Um, so let's have a look at some examples. Once again, like the last tutorial, it will say simplify because you're not going to have an exact answer. Well, most of the time, you're not going to have an exact answer like 1 or 2. It can happen though. Okay, so we're going to look at the question. Um, we're going to start off with um, 3a times 4. Now, I go by two rules, okay? The first rule is deal with the numbers first, and then deal with the letters. Now, remembering that when you're adding or subtracting, the terms have to be identical. However, when you're multiplying or dividing, all bits are off. Okay, you can do whatever you want. Because remember, 3a means 3 times a. I've got times 4 in there. So realistically, remember we did the example last tutorial, 3 times 2 and 2 times 3 as being the same actual question. It means that we can rearrange this however we would like to, okay? Which that is probably the most progression we would do. And we'll do 3 times 4 is 12 times a, and then that is going to be the same as 12a. Now, that's a very long way to do it. What I would usually do, i look at the 3 and say 3 times 4 is 12. And then I've got an A put on there, so I'm going to put an A there. Okay, so deal with your, your numbers first, followed by the letters. So let's do 3Q times 2. Well, that would be 3 times 2 is 6. And I've got a Q there, so we chuck a Q there. And actually, it's pretty much that easy. Okay, it doesn't get hugely more challenging. Um, we've got 2X times 3Y. Well, let's deal with the numbers first. So we've got 2 times 3, which is 6, and x times y. Well, that comes back to our um, previous question where x times y is just the same as saying x, y. And that's my answer, 6x, y. What about this one? I'm going to do 3a times 5a. Can you do this one? A little bit harder, this one. Well, we've got 3 times 5, which is 15, so we deal with the numbers first. Then a times a, remember it's not a plus a, it's a times a, which you're multiplying it by itself, which is going to be um, a squared. 
Okay, so you notice we've done all multipl multiplying. So let's do an example two. We'll start looking at some division questions. Once again, it's going to say simplify. Okay, so let's have a nice easy one. We're going to do 15a divided by 3. Okay, so 15a divided by 3, there's two ways you can do this question, which, which we'll look at. The first way, I'll do the same thing I was doing last time. Deal with the numbers first. 15 divided by 3 is 5, and then I've just got an a, so it's simply just 5a. Now the second way that some people like to do it, and this can often be good, particularly when the number is big on the bottom, but we'll have a look at that. We can use the divide by sign as an over sign. It's the same thing. And we can do, again, 15 divided by 3, which is 5, and then go the A on top. Okay? I probably prefer this method, to be honest with you, because it can get you out of strife in questions like this. Um, we can do 6Q divided by, um, let's say, 12. Now, the reason why I'll show you, again, two ways. The first way, 6 divided by 12 is a half, and then we've got a Q. Or you could probably write as 0.5Q. Now, that's okay. You can do that. But probably the way I prefer is this. I'm going to rewrite it as 6Q over 3. Oops, over, not over 3, is it? it's over 12. Make sure you always write down the actual question correctly. Okay, now remember when you're simplifying fractions, 6 goes into 6 once, 6 goes into 12 twice, so I've got 1Q over 2, which is just Q over 2, which is the same as a half Q and 0.5Q, but I probably prefer it to be written that way. Okay, um, let's have a look at another one. We're going to have... 3q um, divided by 6q. Okay, well let's have a look at this one. A bit more challenging. Um, 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 6 twice. Now, I've got q over q. Remember doing this before, I said that 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. So q divided by q also equals 1. So what happens, we cross them out. Now you can put a 1 there. I don't, don't often do that because we've got 1 times 1 which is 1, 2 times 1 which is 2. So realistically I just say that these things cancel themselves out. I don't really put the 1's there because anything times 1 is itself. So it's just 1 over 2. Occasionally however, it can be important like this I guess. Let's do um, Q over 4Q. Because if you just remember that they cancel out, the problem is if I don't always know that Q divided by Q is 1, then I might just do this. That can't be right, can it? And 0, no, that can't be right either because 0 divided by 4 is 0. So if you are crossing them out or cancelling these Qs out and there's nothing left there, then it's important to put your 1 there. Okay, if there's another number there, like we had the 1 up there already and the 2 there, it's okay. All right, I know that can probably be a little bit confusing, but, um, but we'll certainly go through some more questions. Okay, so I'm going to put some mixed answers here now for, uh, or mixed questions, should I say, for example 3. So have a crack at these, see how you go. You probably won't get them all right, but definitely give it a stab. So we'll do. Um, 3y times 6y, we'll do 7a times 6q, we'll do 30a divided by 6, I'm going to do 5q divided by 15, then I'm going to do um, 36q divided by 6q and then leave it at that. So guys, have a, have a pause, have a crack at these uh, five questions and then play it. Okay, welcome back guys. I hope you said 3 times 6 is 18. y times y is y squared. 
Next one. 7 times 6 is 42. A times Q will just be A cubed. 30 divided by 6 equals 5. A divided by 1 is just A. Remember, you could write like this. And then cross that out once, cross that out five times, and it's still going to be 5A. Um, likewise, I'm going to write this one as 5Q over 15. Well, 5 goes into 5 once, goes into 15 three times. So I get 1Q over 3. And then I'm going to 36Q over 6Q. Well, 6 goes into 6 once, 6 goes into 36 six times. Q's cancel out. So I'm just left with 6 over 1 which is just equal to 6. Okay, hope you got all those right, guys. I hope this has made a bit of sense to you and you have a bit more understanding. I will put some more challenging questions uh, later on with your multiplying and dividing, um, and they'll basically be combined questions. Okay, um, give me some feedback. If it was too difficult, I can write you another one. Cheers, guys. Have a good day.